We can all agree that robocalls are pretty annoying. A few weeks ago, the big phone company has made a deal with the attorneys general of all 50 states to try to eliminate them, and Congress is working on a bill to crack down on them, too. So NBC's Jacob Ward took one for the team and went through robocall torture to get to the bottom of what these callers are even after. It was the ultimate in robocall torture. Hello? 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 Thank you for staying on the line. Yes, sir, are you the person responsible for the electric bill? 100 robocalls in one day funneled to my phone and me answering every single one of them. I just need to ask you a few quick questions. The people on the other end of these robocalls are criminals. The goal? To determine what the scam really is. Mr. Smith, can you please find me social security number? Their general playbook, start with an automated call. Press one now to speak with me. We press one to speak to an agent. How are you doing today? I'm okay, how are you? And once they think yes. they have a live one, they hand me off to another rep, the closer. I'm Kevin Ellen. How can I help you? I got connected to you. Why Why would he connect me to you after I was talking to somebody else? Sir, we are dropped down your interest rate less than 6% on your visa card. Huh. And I can see you are oh, more than $3,000, right? We came across the credit card scam. In order to activate the lower interest rate of your visa card first, can you verify when is the card is going to be expired? Do do people often give you the expiration date right off the bat? I don't know, sir. The energy bill scam. But you don't have my account number? No, sir. The Medicare scam. I am, yeah. I'm on Medicare. Okay, and um, for verification purpose, can I have a date of birth? And the ever popular social security scam. Your social security number has been suspended. Oh, no. We would request you to get back to us. Many just want to coax your personal information out of you. Uh, so can I have your first name and last name so that I can easily pull up your file? Once we provided fake names and birthdays and social security numbers, they had what they needed and they hung up. <laughs> really? Come on, I thought we were getting along so well. Nomo Robo is a company that tracks and helps block robocalls. They're the ones funneling these real robocalls to me. These guys are really good at what they do. They know human psychology, they know fear tactics, and they, they are really good at stealing money uh, from unsuspecting American uh, consumers. At the other end of the line, we did find some humanity. How do you keep your voice from falling apart? Like, I don't think I could talk that much over the course of a day. It does dry out, that's why you keep fluids and cough drops next to you. But only so much. If your grandmother was called and gave away her number, wouldn't you feel terrible? Yeah. Right. So how, why do you do this? So this is my job, okay? Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.